how to identify why and how it should be healed. To give you a specific situation, I'm in a relationship for over a year. Lately, we've been talking about moving in together, which is a big step for me. And I can feel how I'm shutting myself emotionally, like I'm unable to feel anything, not love for him, nor sadness for leaving him. And I don't know if it's my trauma and fear of being vulnerable stopping me and what to do about it, or if it means I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. So here's what I want to say to you. First of all, what you're describing is being numb. You went numb. And when you go numb, it means that you can't be right now with what you're feeling there. And there's a good reason why you cannot. You have to learn how to be with your numbness and to respect the numbness. We tend to think that if we're numb, there's something wrong and we should get rid of the numbness. But to give you an example that's a bit extreme, Thomas Hubel has a project that's called the Pocket Project. And they work with collective traumas, for example, the Nazis, like the descendants of the Nazis or the Holocaust or the conflict between the Jews and the Arabs and the Palestinians. And they sometimes do, you know, weekend or a couple of day of retreats programs where they have to sit with each other, two opposing sides that are consider each other enemies or have created horrific, um, cause horrific pain in the other or, or um, collective trauma to sit in the same room and try to feel together. And the first thing that comes up is numbness. And they describe that sometimes they sit in that numbness for two days, just feeling numb together, not being able to drop into these layers. Imagine what it would take for people who are in the Holocaust to come back and feel what was there, right? So there's a reason why we go numb. There's a reason why our system doesn't allow us to drop into that right away. When we go numb, there's a good reason why we go numb. So if you're not feeling, you have to learn how to sit with your numbness until you can connect with your feelings. You're not going to have answers until you connect with your feelings. And if you cannot reach those feelings and come out of numbness by yourself, then you're going to need some help getting there. So that's that's my answer to all of this. So everything that you asked, you're going to have to watch later on what I said about the rest of it. And I hope that that, um, that answers it. But something triggered you to go numb. And that's something to look at and see what triggered you and what was what was so scary to be there to feel what is going on right now. And there's definitely a trauma there. Yes. If you cannot feel what you want in the relationship and you cannot feel love or, or sadness or anything about any of it, it's because the trauma got triggered and something needs to be healed.